I just set up a brand new pair of Ace AF1 hollows and I'm super keen to skate these trucks for two reasons. First of all, I've got a 9.8 inch wide board. It's super heavy and I've extended the wheelbase to 14.6 inches. So the setup is overall just super heavy and I wanted to try some lighter trucks. Second of all, I've been hearing nothing but good things about the Ace trucks, especially the AF1. So I'm hyped to try out the hollow version, lighten my setup a bit and skate this brand new skate park behind me at Beaumont Hills. So I'm gonna cruise around, try and get used to these trucks first of all. I'll tell you guys what my first impressions are, then I'll talk about why you would benefit from skating lighter trucks. <laughs> Whoa, that's slippery. That just goes. Yep. <laughs> it is much lighter for flip tricks. Now, Ace Trucks was started by Joey Toshe, who actually used to work for independent trucks. And everyone is saying how much Ace look like independent trucks, and that's why, because they're heavily influenced by independent trucks, since the owner of Ace used to work for them. And the Ace AF1 trucks happen to be their most high-end, top-of-the-range truck that they make. So Ace claim that they are an upgrade from the Ace Classics, but with the same geometry. So Ace are known to have a really sharp turn and a tight pinch as well. Apparently, this is the strongest cast truck on Earth, so it's supposed to be the strongest truck ever. And it's 70% stronger than the classic version and 8.6% lighter than the standard AF1s. So I've got the size 66, which has a nine inch axle, which works perfectly for all the egg boards that I'm riding that are around a 9.5 because they taper around into the trucks. And these are laser etched on the axle too. So you know, it's a 66, but it also says that it's a nine inch as well. So it matches a nine inch deck. They've updated the bushings in this truck too with a 96A pivot cup, a 91A top bushing and an 86A bottom bushing for refined suspension they say. So the trucks feel good so far. They definitely feel looser than the slappy trucks. I've just come from riding the nine inch slappy trucks and they turn amazingly. They wore in straight away. These feel a little bit more squirrely. I've had to tighten the kingpin nut a half turn because they just feel too loose. And I've noticed if I turn too sharply, I am getting wheel bite. So it's very early on. I've only had a little cruise around, but I'm already starting to feel like in the initial session, the slappy trucks felt a lot better than what these did. But these are feeling like they suit my setup a little bit more since they're lighter, but it's only early. So I'm going to get into more skating, ledges, rails, all types of things. I want to test the turn. I want to test more of the pinch, how light they are by the end of the session. If I can feel like my legs aren't as dead because I'm skating lighter trucks and my setup is lighter. And then I'll talk about why you guys would benefit from skating lighter trucks, but I'm sure you're starting to piece it together now and see if lighter trucks are going to benefit you or not. But let's get into more skating. Oh, first go. Yep. 
All right, the chucks are feeling really good. They're still pretty loose, but I don't want to tighten it any more than that half turn I already did. Though they're grinding really well. I'm getting used to the turn. There is a little bit of wheel bite if I like overturn it or I land too heavy on the heels of the toes. But while we're still in the shade, I'm going to try and skate this slappy curve right behind me because I've always wanted to learn how to slappy feeble after seeing people do it. And we've got a really good like American style slappy curve here. So I'm going to skate the slappy curve and try and learn how to slappy feeble grind. Then I'll finish talking about how the trucks feel and why you should be riding lighter trucks or why you would benefit from lighter trucks. Oh yes, it works. Oh, it's scary to go longer. I eventually want to try and feeble grind the whole thing, slappy feeble the whole thing. I'll do the end and then I'll do halfway, then I'll do three quarters, then I'll do the whole thing. I don't know how that works, it just works so well. All right, halfway. Oh, I thought that was gonna happen. Feebling on like a square thing like that, it can easily slip out to board slide. Oh, I almost made it halfway. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yes, halfway. I think I figured it out. Go faster and point it down. All right, this angle looks horrible because it's so overexposed here and dark here, but I can't really do anything else. I can't put my camera in the sun because it's too hot. So I did halfway. I'm going to try and go three quarters and then the whole thing before the sun reaches the curb. All right. A little faster and point those toes down. Oh, God, that was scary. I knew that was going to drop. Whoa! Damn it, it's so hard to hold that. Oh, you're joking. That slipped out right at the last second. I'm running out of time before that sun hits. I'm just going to start it from the beginning now. I'm trying to get on here anyway, so I might as well just go the whole way. Oh, that's so much harder. That's long. Damn it. That's so hard not to get out and slip into board side. I'm gonna try and get a bit of an angle change so you guys can see how long this thing actually is. All right, much better. Still so overexposed on the other side of the curb. No! <laughs> oh, it dropped out last second. Oh, I swear I thought that was it. Oh! Ah! No! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> yes! That felt good. No slip outs to the board slide this time. So if you're anything like me that likes to ride a big board like this, this is a 9.8 at its widest point. It tapers down to a nine inch over the trucks here where the tail kind of tapers into a shovel. I ride 54 millimeter wheels and I like to keep my trucks at a nine inch width because I'm riding around, like I said before, 9.5 up to a 10 inch kind of egg board or a shape board like this. So nine inch usually fits well where it tapers down. So the board actually overhangs a little bit here, but I don't want to go any bigger than like a nine or a 9.125 inch truck. So my setups are overall really heavy and I feel the weight of these. I don't do a lot of flip tricks these days, but I, I definitely can feel it. I can still flip these boards, but I figured I would benefit by riding lighter trucks like this. And the session today was actually really fun and it felt good riding lighter trucks. I noticed at the beginning, my tray flips were whipping and popping so much quicker than I thought. And even ollieing and turning like these trucks, this whole setup just, it made it feel a lot lighter having these light trucks. So you would benefit from riding lighter trucks or hollow trucks like this if you like to ride a bigger setup. I don't want to compromise on the size of my board or the size of my wheels. So the only thing I can drop is the weight of my trucks, which is what I've done here. If you're someone that likes to do a lot of flip tricks as well and find it hard to do, then you would benefit on lighter trucks. If you don't want to compromise and go smaller on your board size, or if you're someone that skates long sessions like I do, and by the end of the session, your legs are just toasted because you're popping and trying to get this heavy setup off the ground, you would also benefit from riding lighter or hollow trucks like this. So besides that, if you guys want to be able to pop higher and get your board off the ground and pop over stuff that would be another reason why you would want to ride light or hollow trucks like this so personally these trucks are going to benefit me a lot because they're lighter they're hollow so it reduces the weight of my overall setup because i don't think i'm ever going to drop back down to smaller than about a 9.5 inch board maybe a 9.1 there's some good 9.1 inch egg boards out there that have a nice long wheelbase so i won't go any lower than that so i feel like without compromising the size of my board or my wheels i'm just going to have to skate lighter trucks so these are going to benefit me a lot i'm going to skate these for 
at least another six months. And I, don't, I wanna do a comparison video of the AF1s versus the slappy trucks I was just riding because they impressed me a lot. I really like them. And the Indy Stage 4s as well because they are all quite similar trucks and they're like the hypey trucks of the moment. So everyone was talking about the Indy Stage 4s and the slappy trucks and the Ace AF1. So in about six months, I'm gonna keep seeing these and then do a comparison of all three. So stay tuned for that. But for what I found with these Ace trucks today, they were super good. They were really squirrely at the beginning. I had to tighten them a half turn here, which you can probably already see because the kingpin's hanging out a little bit already, but I didn't want to tighten them anymore. I don't tighten them any more than that because I don't want to ruin the bushings and they need time to wear in. But they never lost that squirreliness the whole session. So I don't know if you can even tell by me doing this, but look how loose they turned. So they stayed pretty squirrely and they turned really sharply this whole session, but it wasn't like I was losing control. They were squirrely, they were responsive and they turned really sharp, but I never felt like I was off balance. So I felt like I was still in control, if that makes any sense at all. That sounds so contradicting, but they turned really good. They pinched really good. I got a little bit more wheel bite than I did with the slappies. That's already a comparison. I'm not trying to make a comparison, but that's just the difference that I found today. But overall, they grinded really well. There's all types of cement. That slappy curb is cement. All the rails I grinded, they pinch grinds really well on the feebles and the crooked grinds, especially. These pinch really well because of how the geometry is set up and how much they turn and pinch. And every grind felt really good. But look how beefy that is there. There's a big fat hanger right there. Super beefy. The whole thing's like a pipe pretty much that just runs straight across. So uh, it's going to take a long time to wear through that hanger there because of how fat it is. So I'm going to get a lot of grinding out of these trucks. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with today. I had a fun session. This park is super fun. The trucks felt really good. And the only downfall I have or the only negative thing to say is what I just said. They were just a bit too squirrely at first. But once I found out that that's how the trucks are, I got used to that pretty quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed that session at this brand new park at Beaumont Hills. This place is so fun. Hope you guys got a bit more insight on the AF1s here, especially the hollow version. But let me know what your experiences are. If you guys have ridden AF1s before or what you think about these trucks overall. But I am loving them so far and I'm, you're going to see these for at least another six months. So check out the Slappy truck review I did right here for Fast Times. Those trucks were amazing. If I go back to Slappies after this, I want to try out the hollow version of the Slappy trucks because I think I'm going to keep riding hollows or light trucks from now on just because my setups are so heavy. So check that video out. Let me know your experience with the Ace AF1s and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.